Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be playing Monster Energy Supercross 4, and we're continuing on with our 250 East career mode. It's round 8 back in Salt Lake City once more. So starting in the middle of the grid, waiting for the grid to drop, and away we go! It's a decent start. Oh, it's a better than decent start. It's perfect start. That's how we usually start these particular main events, and I tell you what, guys and gals, I really, really like this variant of Salt Lake City. This could be the one where we finally get back to the top step of the podium. It's been a long time coming, it really has. Too many second, third places and complete mishaps throughout the sessions. But I'm pleased to say I felt great in this particular venue. And I really, really hope it can come to a fruition because we desperately need some points here today. The championship is heating up extremely quickly. And of course there's only two more rounds to go, including this one. Now we have had a magnificent start to begin this main event. RJ Hampster just behind, of course he is the red plate leader right now. He is holding on to that red plate and actually just as I've mentioned him, he's now plummeted down the timing screens and gone down to about ninth place and now I can't even see him on the left hand side of my screen there. Not ideal for uh, RJ Hampshire but it's more than ideal for us as we take some valuable points away from RJ Hampshire. Now Chase Sexton is behind us, another World Championship contender, so we're going to, have to do everything we can to make sure he can be kept at bay. Pretty good start so far from us, though. We're following the lines, going for these double jumps, and then eventually maybe chucking a few triples as we, the confidence brews and builds up. But for the time being, I'm quite happy with where we're standing right now. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Can we remain in the lead and do the business from start to finish, from the whole shot to the very end? I don't want to jinx myself because you never know what's going to happen in these main events. There's been very, very unpredictable. The AI is really, really quick as the race progresses. The more of this race completes, the quicker the AI gets. So we're going to have to be very, very careful and continue to churn out some fast lap times so we get a little bit out of shape into turn one there, getting on top of the berm. But doing a lovely sort of circuit here with following similar lines, I'm utilising the exact same amount of speed for each particular corner. I'm liking the momentum that we have right now. It's just very, very important that we manage to maintain this pace, maintain the consistency, and continue to push forward. My biggest weaknesses in MXGP and Monster Energy Supercross, I've mentioned this many, many times before, is just consistency, making a few mistakes here and there. It's easy just to chuck on too much throttle or just a little bit more brake than desired. Every now and again, mistakes happen, but we need to minimise these. This is the 250 East career mode, of course, and really, when you're fighting for the World Championship, you have to be absolutely perfect. As we go a little bit wide, oh my goodness, uh, the panic, <laughs> the panic, the oh goodness me, the stages of anxiety increase there as we made a big mistake going into the final corner. Now, we still are the fastest man on track with the 51602. Of course, that lap there wasn't anything special or anything to rave about, but with Chase Sexton and Thurman and McElrath coming in pretty quickly, we're going to have to be very, very careful from here on out. Not doing too bad, though. The Honda is very well suited to this particular style. I do like the longer sort of straights and chucking in the longer jumps or maybe some of the shorter ones that are together. I find the difficult ones are when they chuck in some really long, high jumps to then reduce it into a very difficult tight corner. This one is a nice flowing track and is certainly suiting the Honda of both Grant and Sexton as they both sit at the top of the timing pages right now with first and second. And that's a little bit of a whip there. At first when I started playing this game I wasn't sure how I was doing the whips but it's actually extremely simple. You only have to move the bike a little bit to the left or right mid-air and then it obviously reduces the bit of sort of angle and speed and then you can push the bike where you need to go. When I first did that I thought that you were completely sort of motionless in the air and you couldn't really do anything about it. But thankfully you can have quite a lot of control going over the big jumps and even some of the minor jumps. Now six minutes of this main event remain, not too bad in the sense of consistency so far. Although it might not be the most interesting races for the aces, however... The championship is very much alive right now. We are still currently in third place in the World Championship, trailing RJ Hampshire by 10 points and teammates, or excuse me, fellow Honda rider Chase Sexton just by 7 points. Now they say diamonds are made under pressure and exactly what we are doing right now is we are surviving the pressure against Chase Sexton and both the championship standings and Lord Almighty, I almost blew it there. That would have been the worst possible time to end up throwing it in the bin just as I would have cursed myself with a nice commentary jinx. Commentary jinxes are definitely a thing, I swear by it. But don't forget, even Yalek Swole and Joe Shimoda are all still on the exact same amount of points that we are on. We're currently on 114 points as we go, Lord Almighty. My heart can't take another one of those. <laughs> Goodness me. 
Try and get back into the rhythm, sort of concentrate on it, stop thinking about the championship, stop thinking about the other riders, and just focus right now on the task at hand, and that is to stay in the top position, and oh my goodness, I can see Chase Sexton in the bottom corner of the screen there, on the graphic in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see he is charging now, the Honda of Chase Sexton is peeling through the rest of the pack, of course he is seven points ahead of us in the championship, so we need to finish ahead of him at all costs, otherwise it's going to be too difficult to potentially beat him into the final round. And I've taken a look at the final round of Salt Lake City, and oh my lord, it is an absolute beast of a track. It's going to be really difficult for the likes of myself and some of the other Honda riders, so who knows what Chase Sexton and Grant can do right now. But I do think Chase Sexton will sort of take advantage of that little mistake earlier from us and chase us down in due time. Now into third gear, going over a couple of jumps there. A little bit out of shape as we go into the berm there as well. Nice small jump here. Not enough power there to get into the decline of the particular jump. And we're sort of making a few messes up now. A few hashes are coming in. A few mistakes. A few errors from the, the former world championship leader. The former red plate leader. We held on to the red plate for quite a while. But amazingly, we have, we have had only one win this season. Or technically two, but we've had only one actual Grand Prix win. The actual main event itself, we did the Triple Crown early on in the season in Arlington, Texas, and we won two of the three races there. And I think even the second race, we finished second place, but that would have been one heck of a uh, whole Grand Prix victory if we took the triple. But we took the double out of the triple, so you can't be too mad at that. Three and a half minutes of this session remaining, and I'm pretty confident in my abilities to stay ahead of Chase Sexton and the rest of the pack that are slowly and surely going to be pursuing us. We've made a mistake! We've made a mistake! Oh, Lord Almighty! Just put me back on the track! Oh, my goodness! Why did I have to wait for the timing countdown to expire? I'm sure I probably could have just restarted it somehow. But, Lord Almighty, I've made a mistake once again. And Chase Sexton's made a mistake! He's gone down as well, ladies and gentlemen! Sexton, two Hondas down in just two corners. Goodness me, now McElrath will take over at the lead. Brilliant result for Shane McElrath, who's on, on board the Yamaha, of course. He'll be absolutely loving this right now. Gifted a potential main event victory. Now, we still have a lot of time remaining as RJ Hampshire is in seventh place. So, thankfully, we, we will acquire... Some hefty championship points against him, but we do have Chase Sexton and McElrath ahead of us. But I'm pleased to say we are fighting back with a vengeance. We just need to stay confident, stay positive, and just continue to push forward. And we might be able to have a dive with this side of corners. Me! Too close to the rear of the uh, man on the Honda, Chase Sexton, getting very, very close to the world champion, of course. As Shane McElrath has decided to pull away once more. Made a little bit too many mistakes going into that particular rhythm section. Now onto the tabletop section. Look how much speed we managed to gain on Sexton and McElrath. We are on a charge. Another podium beckons Grant. But we want the victory. It's been too long and the aces are demanding a victory. We need to appease the fans and we need to take a victory. Brilliant move on the inside of Sexton. Brilliantly done. From the man from England up on the American. Brilliant stuff. As we now go around the outside and begin the pursuit of the victory. Shane McElrath, be warned. Honda versus Yamaha once again. We've heard it so many times in so many motorsports. And here it's going on again. Coming around the outside, the American. Oh, not quite. Up into here. Into a couple of rhythm sections. Oh, made a big mistake there. That's not ideal. Sort of trying to grasp the, uh, the idea of a double and a triple jump there, but it's not going to happen. I should probably stick to what we were doing earlier on. That seemed to be key, but we are closing back in on the Yamaha. The man from North Carolina, Shane McElrath, the same age as me. He was born just a couple of days after I was in August, that is. He was born on the 11th, I was born on the 2nd. As we get closer and closer to Shane McElrath, surely we can pinch it off him. I don't want to be missing out on another victory as we get super close. Goodness me! We did just set the fastest lap of the main event just a moment ago as we'll try and line him up into the corner. Brilliant move from Grant into the second turn here in Salt Lake City. The fans are on their feet. The aces are applauding. Brilliant stuff right now, but we did make a few mistakes. But something I do want to mention that is vital, vital for the championship is Shane McElrath is not a championship contender. He is in 12th place in the championship. Do we really need to do battle with the man from North Carolina? Is it wise? Should we be doing it? Or should we try and just hang on to second place? 
Chase Sexton is right there behind us. Recall what I said earlier, seven points ahead of us in the championship standing as things stand right now. And Joe Shimoda is there as well. He is also locked on the exact same amount of points as I am with 114. We really don't need to engage in battle with any of the riders behind us. It's just not necessary. To oh my goodness, we get fully turned around. Joe Shimoda Sexton, someone just turned us around completely. That is the most dirtiest move I've ever seen in Monster Energy Supercross. I cannot believe that has just happened. Who on earth has just done that? We are the victim of some foul play there, ladies and gentlemen. Fully turned around, a full 360 in the middle of the track. That is disgusting. We're going to have to fight everything now to try and chase them down. Oh, I'm, I'm livid. I'm absolutely disgusted at that. I cannot believe that has just occurred here in the final lap, or at least final two laps of this main event. Oh, I'm miffed. Absolutely miffed. We're going full aggression mode now. If anyone gets anywhere near me, I'm going to pump them. I cannot believe that has just occurred right now, but we are closing in on Joe Shimoda very, very fast. I think Chase Sexton was the... Oh, my goodness. Super close there to Joe Shimoda. A, this is a one, one very, very angered British rider on an absolute tear as he completely makes a mistake into turn one. But if we get anywhere near Chase Sexton, I'm going to go full lunge as we just dive up in the inside of Joe Shimoda. He felt the wrath of the British rider. Now chasing down Garrett Marchbanks. We're ahead of him now almost. Yep, we're ahead of him. Chase Sexton, you're on the hit list as well, my friend. How dare you knock us round to a full 360 as we get super close to Marchbanks there. Just wait for the tabletop section, ladies and gentlemen. You know how quick we are going into the tabletop. Full back, full lean angle, straight back. Bottom right analog stick, left analog stick, push to the bottom as well. We'll try and go around Marchbanks now. Oh, a wider line, and then go for a nice big leap. We're not going to win this one. Shane McElroth has done the business and saw this happen to Sexton. Brilliant. Karma. Absolute karma. We go around the outside. Brilliant. Second place. Whoa. What a chaotic finish to this Monster Energy Supercross race. 250 East career mode has not disappointed. And yet again, a valiant second place for Grant as he finishes ahead of Marchbanks, Shimoda and Chase Sexton. Brilliant stuff. Show me the championship standings, please. So the standings are in, and Grant has inherited the red plate for the final round in Monster Energy Supercross. Goodness me. The 250 East career mode is going down to an absolute showdown between Grant, Sexton, RJ Hampshire, and Joe Shimoda. And I'll tell you what, I guess you can't really count out Marchbanks or Swole. This is unbelievable. Magnificent win to Shane McElrath as we get another different winner throughout the season. And what an absolutely awesome race. But guys, upon that note, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hit the notification bell to be alerted to every single Dot Trace upload. And upon that note, guys, thanks for watching, and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.